So as a portrait artist, there is one question I get asked the most, and it is not. So what are your pronouns? The number one question I get as a portrait artist is if I can combine two, three, and four separate images and create one portrait. Like when you have a child with their father and their grandfather and great-grandfather. With that comes challenges. Each picture could have different lighting, sometimes taken in really sunny conditions, sometimes taken indoors. Also the proportions. You have like a kid's head or a baby head in proportion to like an adult head, unless you have a giant baby head. You have to get the proportions right. So you have to be able to make it look real. And I will show you how I do that in this video. It is easier than you might think. I would like to note first that I am using the app called PixArt. What I like about it is there is a phone version and a desktop version that sync together. There's a lot you can do on here from editing pictures to creating some sort of uh, marketing materials like a Facebook post, uh, YouTube, and and everything like that. There's a free version, but for just $5 a month, you know, build $60 for the entire year. Uh, yeah, you get that for the entire year. And there's so many extra bonuses and features with the premium version. So I just bought the premium version. So now let's get started on a project. You know, I will, uh, you know, start a new project or upload photo. I want to say that there are other ways of getting proportions right, but I tend to use the eyes because over the course of your life, they only change by about five sixteenths of an inch. So I have my photo selected and then I come up here to this button, remove background. It is so easy to use and, um, it just works so well. So by doing that, it immediately removes the background and I can go ahead and start placing them where I want them to be in this portrait. The next thing I'm going to do is drop the opacity in one of the layers. That way I can put the eyes over each other and I can see about when the size is similar. And once I have the irises about the same size, uh, now I just raise the opacity and I position them where I want them to be in the portrait. This portrait was easier to put together because these pictures were taken on the same day outside in the same conditions. So the lighting was not hard to work with. And to change the layering arrangement, you just go over here to the right side and move the layers how you want them to be. So now I'm going to pull some random pictures from the internet and put them together in a portrait. They're all different sizes, so I have to resize. I'm also going to crop out the unneeded uh, portions of the original picture just because they're easier to work with the smaller they are. And now I will start the opacity process until I can get them lined up. Once again, I'm focusing on the size of the iris, not the whites that you see. But the iris only changes a little bit throughout your life. Now I'm just going to adjust some of the lighting uh, just so it's not so different. I'm just tweaking random settings until they look similar. This process is not in depth, you could, like in Photoshop or something, create lighting patterns that match each other from different pictures. But I'm not doing that. This is just to make my sketch for a portrait. And there you have it. There is the internet family that we just created. 
And seriously, thank you for watching. I only do this for you. So consider subscribing. That way it'll help me grow. See you next time.